This problem, we want to find vertex, axis symmetry, min or max, and the graph of the function. So we've got f of x is equal to x plus 1 squared minus 2. Now, this isn't standard form. Recall, standard form looks like this. f of x equal to a times x minus h squared plus k key part is you got x plus a number or x minus a number to the second power. The rest of it is kind of optional. Well, since this is in standard form, let's identify everything. A is the numbers in front of the parentheses, which is the 1. Now, since it's positive, that means our graph is going to open up. H is the number that's inside with the x, and it's the uh, opposite sign, so it'll be a negative 1. And k stays whatever sign it was. It was a negative 2, so or negative, so it stays a negative 2. Now the first thing we're asking for is the vertex, which if it's in standard form is hk, which is negative 1, negative 2. Our axis symmetry is x equals the x part of our vertex, which is negative 1. Our graph opens up so it has a min. And a min occurs at our y part of our vertex, which is negative 2. Now for the graph. Uh, negative 1, negative 2 is my vertex. So I'll go put a point there. Y-intercept is almost always a good one to pick. So f of x is y equals, if I put uh, 0 in for x, I'm going to have 0 plus 1 squared minus 2. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so we've got 1 minus 2 or negative 1. So my graph Looks something like that, maybe. I'd have to plot more points to get a precise picture, but and our axis symmetry is ne x equals negative one. It's supposed to be a, a line, <laughs> straight line. Okay, the axis symmetry, our graph is symmetric to it, so I can take this part of the graph and flip it across this, and that'll give us our left side of our graph. Now, for purposes of graphing, you don't have to do it by hand. Just use your calculator. Um, you'll get a much pre more precise graph, even if I plotted a bunch of points. So you press your y equals, press your clear, do a beginning parentheses, x plus 1, close parentheses, x squared, then minus 2, and graph. Then let's see how close I was. Uh, not too far off, but that'll give you a graph. And those are our answers.